Maybe the second time around will be the charm. Let's see if I can do better. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 movies that deserve a remake. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be ranking films that were either poorly received, deeply flawed, or could otherwise benefit from a modern update. We're not saying that these flicks don't possess merit or don't have fans, but rather commenting on how a remake could perhaps do them a little good. <laughs> Trust me. If you don't see a movie you think should be on the list, be sure to check out our videos for the top 10 movies that deserve a remake and the top 10 movie remakes we actually want to see. Number 10. The Giver This 2014 adaptation of Lois Lowry's 1993 dystopian novel made its money back, but failed to deliver critically for some fans of the source material. I apologize. Although not as dusty as some of the other films on this list, the themes of emotion and responsibility could certainly merit from another take on The Giver, ideally one that fixes these issues. The source material was aimed at young adults, and this could still be the focus, but delving deeper into character and plot, with less attention placed on visual style, could do wonders in getting the message of The Giver to audiences of all ages. He was asked if he were strong enough. It turns out he was not. Number 9. The Shadow who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The Shadow knows. Unfortunately, he didn't know his movie was a dud. You're right. You're right. Directed by Russell Mulcahy, who is known for the slick, music video style of films such as Highlander, the results as seen in the movie are actually quite fun. If your head comes away from your neck, it's over. The film side of the Shadow franchise could benefit from some modern touch-ups, however, while perhaps scaling down a bit of the original's reliance on style. But you said he was only a rumor. I'm sick of the shadow business. Keeping the noir mood and tone would be good for the movie, but grounding the shadow somewhat in the reality of, let's say, Batman, could actually do wonders for the franchise to live again on the big screen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Number 8. Silent Hill Fans have been frightened of the Silent Hill video game franchise ever since it debuted back in 1999. Cinematic adaptations of this survival horror classic have been less than well received, however. What's happening? Which is a shame given the source material's frightening reputation. <laughs> How could this be remedied? Well, maybe looking back at some classic horror ideas could work. Using practical effects, tense storytelling, and moody camera work could give the world of Silent Hill the audience and critical reception it deserves. The video games did a superb job of immersing the player in this atmospheric, temperamental universe, and it would be great if a new Silent Hill movie could do the same. Look at me. I'm burning. Number 7. The Lone Ranger Disney had high hopes for The Lone Ranger, and spent over $150 million in marketing to push a film that already ran them a bill of at least $225 million. Wait, jump! What about the passengers? They jumped. And then the film only grossed a total of 260 million worldwide. Is it possible for the Lone Ranger to ride again? But he's the Lone Ranger. Well, creating a better balance between the Ranger and his companion Tonto would be great for starters, as Johnny Depp's performance as the, quote, American Indian distracted from the comparatively dull Army Hammer. My name, come up. Casting aside, making the Lone Ranger a more direct story as opposed to a bloated blockbuster could also make great strides in ensuring the sun doesn't set on this iconic Western hero. Number 6. Max Payne Video game adaptations were always a dicey proposition when it comes to the world of cinema. Yet 2008's Max Payne was actually a financial success, despite a wealth of negative reviews. A gritty, modern update could bring the best of both worlds to the table, however, giving us a Max Payne film that could please casual audiences and fans alike. Taking a cue from Netflix's Marvel content such as Daredevil could be a step in the right direction. Limiting the excessive camera effects of the original Max Payne and paying more attention to character development alongside all of the expected action couldn't hurt either. Number 5. Street Fighter I know you like to look at yourself on television, you six and a f so look at this. <laughs> Street Fighter possesses the distinction of being one of the most enjoyable bonkers movies to ever hit cinemas. They're joking. Still, this classic beat-em-up video game series is arguably the most popular and influential of its kind. 
so why not give it another shot? Gamers have grown up with characters such as Ken, Ryu, and Chun-Li, and there's enough backstory to this universe that a relatively serious, respectful adaptation could totally be achieved. This would be quite a change from the live-action film's campy tone, and one which Street Fighter fans would likely welcome with open arms. That's exactly what I wanted you to think. Number 4, Green Lantern. Well, thank you. This has been really fun. I know, I made a lot of mistakes. Look how I'm not mad at you. Good luck finding anyone who actually liked this movie. A meandering and dull story brought down even more by bad writing and campy CGI, not even leading man Ryan Reynolds could salvage this train wreck. Brightest day, and blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Guardians of the Galaxy successfully brought the Marvel Cinematic Universe to space, so now is a perfect time for DC's Galactic Cop to do the same for the Justice League. As long as they learn from their mistakes, keep the super suit green, but not animated, and maybe, just maybe, we can all let Reynolds forget about this 2011 embarrassment. Mark Strong is in this too? Wow, what went wrong? While you assess, innocent lives will be lost. Let me take the fight to this new enemy. There is much of which you are not aware, Sinestro. Number 3, The Green Hornet. This adaptation of the classic 1930s radio hero was actually a financial success back when it was released in 2011, bringing in approximately $227 million on a $120 million budget. Still, the film wasn't given much love, and fans haven't exactly been clamoring for a sequel, so perhaps a remake is in order. Trying doesn't matter when you always fail. Given that the Green Hornet is a very old-school superhero, updating the mythology is key. The 2011 version did achieve this in a way, but many moviegoers just didn't see Seth Rogen as the superhero type. So perhaps some recasting will also pave the way for a solid Green Hornet adaptation to hit the screen. Okay, now we can end this. Number 2, the Star Wars prequel trilogy. Please don't look at me like that. There's a huge debate as to the quality of the Star Wars prequels. On one hand, there are a ton of great moments in all three films that give them great merit. Then again, there's also some cringe-worthy dialogue and a mishandled love story. Here everything is soft and smooth. Not to mention an excessive amount of dated CGI effects. We need only look at the success of The Force Awakens and Rogue One to see how the prequels could be improved, however, by taking things back to basics. <laughs> Tell a simple and direct story about Anakin Skywalker's fall to the dark side. Bring back the creature effects and realistic lightsaber duels, and you might have a recipe for remake success. <laughs> Number 1, Dungeons & Dragons Millions of D&D fans can't be wrong, huh? Trust me. and those same fans deserve a good movie. Unfortunately, this wasn't exactly what fans were hoping for. Fantasy films have come a long way since 2000, however. Oh, what a relief. I'll be thanking you when they cut my head off. And that might be the key to making a proper Dungeons & Dragons adaptation. I knew that boy had talent! This is made especially true given that the franchise itself doesn't possess an established set of characters or plot material upon which to adhere. This could give filmmakers carte blanche to create a sprawling, immersive world of wizards, warriors, elves, dragons, and more. All maybe without Marlon Wayans. Are you looking for somebody in particular? Or are you just looking for... somebody? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.